Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 4.9, Problem 11. This is Section 4.9, Problem 11. Don invests $5,000 at 7% interest compounded annually. How much will she have in five years? So first, which formula do we use, simple interest or compound interest for this? Well, definitely compound because it mentions how frequently it's compounded, the type of compounding. So the compound interest formula is A equals P times in parentheses 1 plus R over N to the N times T exponent. So we fill that in. A is the final amount, which I want to know. P is the principal or initial investment, that is 5,000. Open the parentheses, 1 plus R, the rate, as a decimal. So 7% as a decimal, must go in as a decimal, 7% is 0 0.07. Over N, number of times compounded per year. So what type of compounding do we have here? Annually. So annually means only once a year. The bank takes the interest that you've earned, puts it into your savings, and it earns interest too. So for annual compounding, N is 1. And now my exponent here, n times t, again, n type of compounding for annual, n is 1. t is time in years. Um, and t would be 5. Time in years. So now you have multiple operations going on. There's a multiply, 5,000 times the parentheses. You have parentheses. Inside the parentheses, you have an add, you have a divide, you have an exponent with a multiply. Any type of math, if you have parentheses, you, you must do the parentheses first. So let's start with the parentheses. Even within the parentheses, there's two operations. There's an add, and this fraction is a divide. So you have to divide first. So with the 1 in the denominator, it's very easy. 0 0.07 divide by 1, it just stays 0, 0.07. That's easy. And the, the 1 times 5, let's clean that up a little bit too. Let's make it 5. Now, I can finish my work in parentheses. I just add 1 plus 0 0.07, and that will be easy enough. So I have 5,000 times, in parentheses, 1.07. Exponent is 5. So now we're down to two operations. There's a multiply, 5,000 times the parentheses, and there's an exponent, the parentheses to the fifth power. You have to do the exponent first. You just have to. That's the way the order of operations is. So off to the side here, 1.07 to the fifth power is five 1.07s multiplied together. Now, all the teachers I know will let you use a calculator to do something like this. One, two, three, four, five. Um, if you have a calculator, you can do that. It's easier, though, if you have a calculator with an exponent button. So you'd put in the base, press your exponent button, which may look like this up arrow, put in the exponent, which is five for this, and equals. Or some calculators have a little different looking exponent button. It looks like this x to the y power. Put in the exponent, put equals. If you have an exponent button, not all calculators do, but a lot of them do, it'll look like one of those two. Um, if not, you're doing it out the long way. Just still better than by hand. So I have a calculator with an exponent button. I'll make sure the screen is clear. I'll enter the base of 1.07, press my exponent button one of those two buttons, put in 5 equals. And now what I have is the 5,000 is still in front of the parentheses being multiplied. The result of 1.07 times itself 5 times, the calculator tells me, is 1.40255 Now, that's a lot more decimals than I need, and I will round it, but not yet. I'll do one more step. This 1.4025 something is on the screen of my calculator now. That number needs to get multiplied times 5,000. So I just leave the number with all those decimals on the screen. Press times, the number in front of the parentheses, 5,000. So 5,000 0, 0, 0, equals, and the calculator tells me that A is 7012.758653. Now, that answer represents a little more than $7,000. So now that we're, in terms of money, going more than two places after the decimal has no meaning when we're dealing with money. I want how many cents. And the question is, will this stay at 75 cents, or do I round it up to 76? 
The answer is because of the third digit out being as large as it is, it's an eight. I am gonna round this up to 76 cents. So my final answer, and because it's money, I'll use a dollar symbol, is $7,012.76. And that's the answer to the question. So Donna invests $5,000 now at 7% compounded annually. After five years, that $5,000 will grow to $7,012.76.